I'm holding the steering wheel in place. Yep, and I have rear steer right now, guys. When, when I give it the gas, it pushes driver, and I let go, it snaps back passenger. So I think that might be bad bushings on my lower control arms. I'm thinking that's the cause, because there's a lot of torque on that rear axle, and when you give it gas, it pulls it, and when you let go, it releases. So we are gonna have to order some rear control arms. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. We are out here on this beautiful day. We're waiting for the mail. We got those rear lower control arms coming from Max Speeding Rods. Hopefully it's gonna correct that rear steer issue in this here WJ. Now Max Speeding Rods was kind enough to send me free rear adjustable lower control arms for this WJ. So Max Speeding Rods definitely hooked it up. And not only are they hooking me up, they're also hooking you guys up. So if you buy any of their products, they are gonna give you 15% off if you use the Dan H discount code. So that is awesome. So we are just waiting on FedEx. And uh, with my luck, it'll come in the evening when uh, there's not enough time in the day left to do this job. So <laughs> we're gonna wait for FedEx and uh, we're gonna do this job as soon as the package gets here. Woohoo, they're here. All right, guys, we got our rear lower control arms. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now, I ordered these from MXR, Max Speeding Rods. Aaron hooked me up, so thank you so much. I will definitely leave a link in the description below so you guys can get a pair of these if you want. Um, let's see. They are... Look at that. Wow. They are cheese yellow. Oh my goodness, they look like they belong on a taxi. <laughs> I asked them if they came in uh, any other colors, and they said no negative, but maybe a little shot of black rustoleum will fix that. I'm not complaining though, these were for free. So, again, thank you, Aaron, from Max Speeding Rods. Set screw. <laughs> Lucky crash. Lucky. Check this out. I treated myself to a new jack and new jack stands. I got a good old craftsman here, and uh, unfortunately, they didn't give me that set screw to attach the pump handle, but you know what? Made it work right there, so not a big deal. But uh, the jack stands I got to replace my Harbor Freight death traps, well, these are just way too small, so uh, not gonna cut it for lifted Jeeps. So the stands are going back but I'm going to keep the jack, so. All right, let's take the wheels off. Ooh, look at that, guys. WJ brake video coming soon. Ugh. All right, we're gonna take off the passenger side first. We're gonna do the front one. And then we're gonna go ahead and use the big dog DeWalt. This is 21 millimeter also. Hopefully that stays on while I hit it. Nope. and watch my Jeep crumble before me. <laughs> Did I ever mention I hate rust, guys? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this thing outside of the vehicle. This bushing looks shot. Look at how loose it is. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Comes right out. Oh man, I wonder why I was scared to drive this thing. Look how rotten these bushings are. 
Way too much play. This thing was all over the road. Holy smokes. So, all right. Push this thing back in. Gonna want to measure it up. We'll get the new one in. Come on. Come on. All right. Hey guys, I unthreaded this completely to see how long this was. And we got a decent amount of threaded section here. We got about five inches of adjustability. Granted, I wouldn't thread it all the way to the end. So, maybe like three and a half. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm just going to put some uh, good old anti seize on this bad boy. Because, hey, we're in the northeast. And I uh, don't want this rusting up on me. Going to give it a nice healthy coat in here. Then I'm going to thread this back in. Alright guys, so here we go. I am going to match up the length of this adjustable control arm to the OEM control arm so we can get the sucker dialed right in. Now, here we go. It's hard to see, but I need to come out a little bit more so we can get that bolt in. So we'll just go ahead and loosen this a little bit. Is that it? Yay! All right, we got it, guys. So this one's in, this one is in, so I know this is the right size. And it's gonna loosen up this jam nut. And we're gonna put this right where it needs to be so we can hold this in place so it doesn't lose its shape. But I'm not gonna tighten it just yet. I'll wait till it's in the vehicle for that. So I'll crank that down with my hands. There we go. All right, let's get this in the vehicle. All right, guys, I'm gonna put my adjustment towards the back so when we're driving forward, we're not getting uh, dirt all jammed up in there. <laughs> Don't wanna get the jam nut jammed. So uh, I wanted to keep the threads clean so we'll have the dirt and debris just slide on by. Well, that's my logic anyway, so we'll see how that works and yeah, right off the bat there is a lot of play in this let's go ahead and add those shims that it came with wow beefy spacers hmm beefy mm, beefy all right let's try shim one and shim two and get a hand tighten the bolt right now I'm back I'm not gonna crank it down just yet wait till I get the back in all right check this out guys so when I bring the control arm up I got about four inches of, of gap right here and obviously you don't want to extend this to match it up you'll lose your whole alignment so um, I got this a ratchet strap hooked up and I'm gonna go ahead and suck the axle back into the old hole right here and make sure everything lines up and then uh yeah hopefully that works all right since we're going to be tugging on the axle from the body i'm just going to add a jack stand for extra support safety first and i chalk my front wheel with a nice stone We'll go ahead and do this gently. There we go. Twisting the axle right back where it belongs. Looking good. We're closing the gap right away. All right, there we go. Had to readjust a little bit because I didn't want to pinch any of these brake lines going in there, so I cleared the soft line, so that is good. Jack stands, jack, you know, safety first. You know, make sure you are paying attention to what's going on, and never keep your body under the vehicle if you can help it. Just use every precaution. So, here we go, we got the bolt just about started. Alright guys, 
we are through. Let's put this nut on. I'll tighten up this back one first. God, that's so yellow. Take off my ratchet strap now. Some tension. Jeez, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> Alright. Alright, there we go. There is our first control arm. Looking mighty fine. Alright, guys, there we go. Got ourselves a quick coat of black on there. Uh, sorry, Aaron. No offense, but yeah, it was just not my thing. So there we go, that is in. I'm gonna put the wheel on, I'm gonna do the other side, and then when this bad boy is sitting on rubber, I'll go ahead and tighten up that jam nut. All right, driver's side. Yeah, baby, now the driver's side is in. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the power of this big Dana 44A was uh, was too much for this little tiny $2 ratchet. So, bye-bye. Uh, Came in handy, got the job done. All right, guys, gonna crank on this jam nut. <laughs> it's about an inch and a half. I don't have any wrenches big enough, so I'm gonna use these adjustable pliers. Oh, yeah, crank this sucker down. <sighs> I think that should do it. <sighs> jam that jam nut on. Yeah. And there we go. <sighs> oh, shucks. My paint job. <laughs> Not too worried about that. I got a paint can. <sighs> All right. Woohoo! Sweet. Look at that, baby. One and two. One last look at these OEM bushings. I'm sure they are original. They are definitely dry rotted. Look at all that cracking. That is no good whatsoever. Uh, this side, this bushing is out. I'm sure it didn't take much effort at all. And watch this, guys. Ready for this? Yep. <laughs> I am sure this is the reason why it was so dangerous to drive. That thing was all over the road. But not no more. All right, safety check. Make sure everything is out of the way. Don't want to roll over any tools. I'll explain that one in another video. Oh, there we go. Got my chuck right there. Goodbye block, thank you. Lifesavers right there. All right, let's go for a little ride. Alright guys, there we go man. I've been driving around this WJ all evening and I'm really, really impressed with the way it improved. Those, those bushings were so bad. These new lower control arms did the trick. Almost. 
there's still a little bit of a shimmy and I think that could be the front control arms but that's not a problem anymore because we have the new ones on order whenever they arrive it's all good I can still drive around like this I I'm not in fear for my life anymore with the way this thing was jimmying around back there that was no good so uh so the back is solved the fronts are on their way thank you so much max speeding rods thank you aaron i really appreciate it i hope you guys will consider their products go check them out i'll leave a link to their website in the description and don't forget your dan h discount code you can save 15 percent off on their products so backs are done fronts are on their way and one more thing guys I did feel a little death wobble starting, so I jumped onto Amazon. I ordered myself a new Moog track bar because track bars, in my opinion, are one of the biggest causes of death wobble. So I put in a new track bar. Uh, just want to get ahead of the game, nip it in the bud. This way I don't get full blown death wobble. And I'll do the track bar when I do the front control arm. So uh, everything should be all good. Um, this thing is a driver now. I'm so happy. I'm not afraid to try this thing anymore. And uh, that's going to be a wrap. Um, check out. My link's in the description for the Moog track bar and especially for Max Speeding Rods. Give them a shot. Don't forget your Dan H. discount code. Uh, really appreciate you watching. Guys, as always, remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next project. Peace.